Another thing we should look for after the child's through infancy is how it moves its arms. Human beings were made and their nervous system was organized so that we walk in a cross pattern movement so that our right arm is going forward at the same time that our left leg is going forward. If we see our children walking and not moving our arms at all, that means that they're dissipating this physical force we all produce called momentum. And they're not dissipating it if they don't move their arms side by side. And that physical force of momentum becomes internalized in the soft tissues. So we start seeing children having chronically tight shoulders or just from studying a lot. In this position, our head is always forward and we're looking down. And what that has a tendency to do is tighten these muscles at the base of the skull. Other muscles that should be evaluated are the most powerful muscles in the body, these front thigh muscles. When children play a lot of basketball or they do a lot of jumping, such as in gymnastics, these muscles have a tendency to overdevelop more than our hamstring muscles on the back of the leg. And as they do that, it will, they will tilt the pelvis down. Because they attach on the pelvis at these points right here. So these muscles that are in the front of our thigh, the adductor muscles here attach here, and our quadricep muscles attach here. And if they get tighter and tighter, they take our pelvis and they tilt it around this center of gravity and they usually tilt it forward, which will tighten all the muscles going up the long muscle fibers of the back. That's very important. And you can see children with their buttock areas sticking out as the muscles of the leg tighten. 